Hello everyone and welcome to the Greek channel. I am Kostis and this is a video about my wish list for the Greek representative for Eurovision 2024. This year um, we didn't do good uh, and uh, there are a lot of talks about um, next year having a national, a national final like many other countries do but nothing is confirmed yet. So I made a wish list based on who I would like to see representing Greece in Eurovision 2024. Now I have to say that I live in the UK for the last five years of my life, so I don't really know what's currently happening in the Greek music industry. Like, I have an idea because we have the internet, but I'm not there. I don't know what they play on the radio. I don't know what people listen when they go to cafes and stuff, like what is playing. Um, so I have some artists in my wish list that I knew from before I left Greece and some new artists that I've seen in the internet. And uh, I really like and I follow. So first of all, I, I have three people that have already been to Eurovision. First, is the one and only Eleni Fureira. Eleni Fureira represented Cyprus in Eurovision in 2018. Now, Eleni Fureira has been basically begging to represent Greece in Eurovision. I do not know why this hasn't happened yet. She wanted to go to Eurovision even before 2018 that she represented Cyprus. But for some reason, the, na the Greek national broadcaster didn't let it happen. So she went with Cyprus and she came second, as we, the fans of Eleni Ferreira, we were expecting. So Eleni Ferreira now is a mom. I don't know if she would be interested. I think she would, like if the Greek national broadcaster would call her and tell her, hi Eleni, do you want to represent Greece? She would be like, yeah, let's do this. And she would be amazing if she has the right song. Um, she's always on point in her performance. Um, like, I, I cannot see a better Greek pop star representing Greece. And now she's a mom, I don't know how... I guess uh, when you're having a child, especially being a woman, this would give you even more inspiration for life. So I cannot... Like, I would love to see what that would add to her artistry. And I would love to see her in uh, Eurovision. And actually, I would love to see her singing in Greek. The next uh, returnee that I would love to see back in Eurovision uh, is Kalomira. My secret combination with some mystery for you to win a destination in the center of my heart. Kalomira represented Greece in 2008 and she came third. Now, in Greece, whoever had a good result like that, they returned to Eurovision and they represented Greece again. Like um, El uh, Elena Paparizou, the second time she won, Sakis Ruvas, second time he didn't won win, but um, he did well. Uh, so I guess that Kalomira was expecting that this would be the case for her, but this didn't happen. Then Kalomira stopped uh, making music and she returned back to the US where she grew up. And uh, she made a family there, so... But she has always had a um, love relationship with Greece. Like, whenever she's coming back, everyone invites her there to their shows. Uh, everyone loves Kalomira in Greece. And uh, she's also a mom now. And two years ago, if I'm not mistaken, she wanted to represent Greece in Eurovision again. And she wanted to submit a song to the national broadcaster for the inter internal selection. But then rumors said that 
people from the national broadcaster said that uh, they wanted someone younger. Well, in my opinion, age doesn't matter, and being a mom doesn't mean that she cannot perform great. And now she has returned in Greece, and she's taking part in a show which is called Just the Two of Us. It's basically like Dancing with the Stars, but with singers. So one professional singer and one celebrity who is not a singer, they're paired together and they're competing for their charity of choice, I guess, or something like that. And yeah, she returned to Greece and she's doing that, and uh, she still has it. So I would love to see her back in Eurovision. A kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. Next, returnee that I would love to see back in Eurovision is Tanta. Tanta represented Cyprus in 2019, I think it was the year after Eleni Ferreira. Now Tanta has been a big pop star in Greece for years, and um, the interesting thing, interesting thing with Tanta is that she evolves, she likes to change, to try new things, and right now she's at a very interesting space musically, she's being more dark, she's being more experimental, Eva. And I would love to see what she would do now if she would go to Eurovision. Another recommendation I would have, another person I would love to see in Eurovision representing Greece would be Good Job Nikki. Good job Nikki became big after I left Greece, but I've seen a lot of him in the internet. He is the son of a very well-known singer in Greece and one of the best voices, I dare to say, in Greece. And he actually has had submitted a song uh, to represent Eurovision the year that Amanda Tenfield represented Greece, which I love Amanda, so I'm not complaining. But Good Job Nikki is very interesting as an artist. Uh, he has a ballady situation going on, which I know it doesn't always do well in Eurovision, but I think his songs are great. He's not just a boy who sings sad songs. And his looks are interesting. I don't know. I don't know. There's something endearing about Good Job Nikki, and I think he could be a good representative of Greece. Came across a narrow path that dance upon your breath and next to me. Next. I have two girls that I personally know. It's Chiadareses. Chiadareses are two twins. They're also daughters of well-known people in Greece, two well-known actors, and they actually studied in a drama school, the same dr drama school that I studied, so that's how I know them. After I left Greece, uh, I didn't know that they loved music so much, and they started this musical duo, which is called Skiadareses, and um, basically they upload videos on YouTube, most of the times with just a guitar, and they have their original songs. What's interesting about Skiadareses is uh, that they they have something traditional in their music and um, a very acoustic style as well. And then the lyrics are many times funny, but they also have a meaning behind them. The only thing I'm worried about is because they always underplay the funny in their lyrics. I don't know how this would translate in the people in Europe, like, would they understand the joke, would they get it, maybe they could do something in English like that, because 
it's a very big part of their music, the jokes in the lyrics. So I don't know how they would do it, but they are, I, be, I, I know them, I, they, I believe in their artistry. They would find a way to make the joke land. So I would love, I would love to see what they would come up with if they were to represent Greece in Eurovision. <laughs> The next person I would like to see in Eurovision is Angelos Archaniotakis. I should have known I'd live alone <laughs> that I fall Angelos came second in the Greek X Factor a couple of years ago. Um, and uh, again, I was not living in Greece at the moment, but I just saw him in a recommendation on my YouTube, and then I was like, oh, his looks are interesting. Like, before I left Greece, people like that, boys with such a queer look, wouldn't be on TV, and especially, like, he came second in X Factor, which means many people voted for him. Which I'm happy. It means Greece evolves. <laughs> it's it's becoming better there. And uh, Angelos has a great voice. He predominantly sings in English. Uh, I've heard him singing in Greek at the X Factor, but I think he prefers singing in English and it suits him, and he has a great range and falsettos and great looks, and I think that would be a great message from Greece to Greece if Angelos would be chosen as a representative. So I would love to see that. I don't wanna die Sometimes I will carry on Next artist I would love to see in Greece is Marina Sati. Marina Sati is such, she is such an interesting artist. I'm not sure where her origins are from, but I think she's not just from Greece. Is she mixed race? I'm not I'm not sure what is going on. So Marina Sati started becoming big in Greece a couple of years before I left Greece. She had a song and uh, the, her music video was just one shot and it's basic it was actually the rehearsal shot. And they kept it and they were like, okay, let's release it. And then this became viral. And she also had some, uh, she likes to cover Greek traditional songs and make them current, but not current pop, but current cool. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not a musician. I don't know the terms, but she's cool. She's actually really really cool i love your new music as well and uh, i think an artist like that would be an amazing representation for greece <laughs> another person who I think would be a great representation of Greece is Konstantinos Argyros. There is this um, music category in Greece that we call Laika. Laika means for the people, you know, and it's basically what people in Greece love to listen as a 
music style and we have something called Tuzukia that um, is a place where people uh, is a place with stage but also with tables and you can eat there but you can drink and you can see your artists live and um, this is the best genre of music that you would listen there and people in Greece love listening to this genre and I think Kostadinos Argyros is the best representative right now in Greece for that genre and I think his looks would also appeal to the European people and I would love to see how Europe would react to this music because this is something that Greek people love and I think that we would be very proud to have it represent us in Europe. It's a risk but I would love to see how Europe will take that. Όλοι μου λένε γύρνα σελίδα με ξενύχτισε πάλι με ποτό και κρεπάλι η καρδιά δε με βεγάζει ασπροπρόσωπο. And last, I have a singer that I actually discovered last night. So I was in YouTube as always. And then I was looking at just the two of us, the show that I said before about Kalomira, and I was looking at it because Kalomira took part in it. And then I found this artist that is called Biased Beast. <laughs> I have no idea who this person is, but his voice is amazing. His performance ability is great. I, I just love his stage presence. I think Europe would eat him up. And uh, I made the small research. I found one of his original songs that I really loved. So yes. I would, I think if he had a great song with his stage present and his talent, he would be a great representative for Greece. So what do you think of my recommendations for Greek representatives of Eurovision 2024? Do you agree with me? Uh, do you think that they would do good? Who do you think would do good and who not? And uh, if you're Greek, do you have others, other people that I m might not know and you would love to see represent Greece in Eurovision? And if you're not Greek and you know Greek artists for some reason, please let me know in the comments. And uh, like the video if you liked it, subscribe to our channel Share it with your friends and uh, see you very soon at another video. Bye!